Here we intend to simulate the resultant low cycle fatigue in three-dimensional form in Abacus software. In this question, 5,000 cycles will be surveyed and you can observe the initial crack in this picture. Here you can observe in this picture the crack propagation in 1,000th cycle. In the next picture, you'll observe the crack propagation in 2,000th cycle. In the next one, in 3,000th cycle. In this picture, in 4,000th cycle. And finally, in the last picture, the crack propagation can be observed in 5,000th cycle. In this picture, the process of crack propagation in various cycles can be observed and the quantity of our cycles are 5000s in this illustration and you can observe here. I will select damage for traction suppression low from the mechanical menu and max PS damage the last option. Here the maximum of principal stress in the element should be determined. So its quantity should be put as 84.4 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 Pascal. Actually, the damage is applied when the principal stress gets to this quantity. But you should note that this uh, quantity actually determines the initiation of damage and the material has not been damaged completely yet. You should select sub option and then damage evolution from this section if you want the damage to be evolved completely. From here select energy. From here I'll tick on include low cycle fatigue analysis option here. I'll put minimum cycle increment size as 3 and its maximum as 6. Here I will put maximum number of cycles that is actually the number of cycles as 5000 cycles. I'll put uh, the quantity of tolerance as 1.1 in this part and in the next step I select this line then this line and consider 18 elements for it this line and this one and I'll select 12 elements for it. Now all the lines have been granulated so I'll click on mesh part and yes in this manner the meshing is completed. Please note that since crack tends to propagate in the right section the meshing seems to have become tinier by far in this section. So we have tried to use tinier meshing here. First I'll click on create boundary create condition. Here the step initial displacement rotation. I'll select upper surface click on done and close the boundary condition of U2 for it. And tools here I will select status X, F, E, M then click on common option and put the deformation scale factor equal to 400 and OK. Here I will click on animate Now you can observe the crack propagation during 5,000 cycles. From here you can observe the crack propagation in different cycles. For instance, 
the crack propagation in the cycle 486 is up to this size. In the cycle 1028 up to this size. In the 1803 cycle up to this size. In the 3029 up to here. In the 3540 cycle up to here. In the 3907 cycle up to here. In 4128 up to here. In 4553 cycle up to here. And in the last cycle, that is cycle 5000. The crack propagation is up to the size that you can observe here.